I've lived here my whole life. My great-grandfather, he came out in the migration from Nova Scotia that settled the Waipu area in the 1850s they arrived. My father took over from my grandfather and I took over from my father in 1970. As I got older I realised I was in danger if something went wrong with me, who would take over? So I spoke to my cousin over the river and we decided to amalgamate our farms together, which we did in 2013. And then the following year, we got involved in, in an auction of the neighbouring farm and ended up getting the farm, which really did make the thing a, a big venture. So at 60, um, I was sort of faced with this uh, dilemma of running this big farm through milking 360 cows through a 120 cow rotary shed. I was lucky enough to be on the first group of Extension 350 people. I had a mentor farmer, Dave Robinson from Tangataroria, who travelled an hour every six weeks down to help me. And I had Taffy Mangella, who was the farm advisor, who has stayed on with me. And they advised me and disciplined me. They all got together with my bank manager and my accountant and we went through all the books and they realised the potential of the place, they broke it all down. I had land titles that I could sell that could help me buy the, the neighbouring, help pay for the neighbouring thing. So we got through the, the subdivision of that, milking the cows, they increased my production and they decided that I could afford to get a cow shed. They guided me through getting contractors in to build the shed. Uh, they were with me all the way on various things and offered their advice. And then the year after the cow shed was built, Taffy, my farm advisor, could see that I was struggling and I was really burnt out. And he said, I think we need to see if you can get a share milker on. The key things for Lockie was, Lockie wanted to uh, go into semi-retirement. That was important for him. Lockie was working quite long hours and uh, we felt as a team that he needed to bring other people in there, employ some staff is we encourage him to go down to engage a share milker, sold the herd to the share milker, so that eased the workload and improved the well-being of the people that were involved in the farm. There was a lot of potential in terms of uh, milk production in the farm and we worked together with Lockie to achieving that. We're looking for some good alignment between the people. For example, Dave, who was Lockie's mentor, had built a cow shed. So there was some common element there that was going to lead to good interactions. Dave Robinson, who was my mentor farmer, were, uh, he's, he's become a good friend of mine now. I would ring him day and night discussing problems, all sorts of problems occur on the way. And Dave mentored me through all those things, had sound advice, but then you get the theoretical advice from someone like Taffy. It was invaluable. I can't sing highly enough of it. When I started E350, I wasn't quite sure what I was taking on, but I was keen to have the advice and I learned a lot on the way, I uh, had lots of experiences. The challenge I realised from the beginning is not be frightened because you've been farming for 50 years that you have to know everything. Um, so I was very free to be criticised and to try and learn from that criticism. And basically from where I, I started in E350, I ended up with a share milker on the farm in a nice new shed. It's made it big enough for me to actually step back and I think I'm lucky enough to retire live on the farm and um, have it all happen around me and I can just appear when I want to. The well-being for me has come in my retirement.